Hi, it's Jeff Greenberg, and I want to show you a unique method to retime music effortlessly. As far as I'm concerned, it's magic, and it's from Adobe, and it's called Remix. Here I've got this great piece of music from Audio Design Desk. If you haven't checked out Audio Design Desk, that's add.app, you absolutely should. It's a gorgeous audio DAW that works in concert with your editorial tool. But I have this piece of music, and it's a great piece of music. It's just too long for this commercial. And the typical way we would handle this as an editor is we would grab our razor tool and we would try cutting up the music and get it to kind of graft into itself. That's where Remix comes in. And this has been in Premiere only since 2022 version of Premiere, but it's been in Adobe Audition since 2015. And I've been showing it to editors since then. It's just beautiful that it's here integrated directly into Premiere. So it's a great piece of music, it's too long. And I'm going to go right here to this third icon. It's called the Ripple Edit Tool. And I'm going to click and grab the Remix tool. I'm going to grab the end of this piece of music. I'm just going to drag it to the length I want it to be. And a lot of things are going to happen all at once. It's being analyzed, and it's looking for the beat pattern, and it's looking for the melodies at those patterns. And you can see the essential sound panel has opened up on the right. It didn't make it the exact length I wanted. It made it as close as it could within five seconds. But let's take a listen. That's totally crazy, right? It takes long music and it understands how to cut it up and graft it into itself. And it takes short music and it loops itself and makes it longer. Since I happen to have it here, I've shown you how I used the actual tool with it selected. You can see the essential sound panel brings it up and the duration here has remix activated with a given length. It's made it about as close as it could to the length I wanted within about five seconds. There's a little bit more to it. And by the way, you can get to this by either right-clicking on it. You can also go up to the clip menu, choose Remix, and you can change its properties or revert it or disable it here. So you can invoke it either way as a right-click, as the menu, or by the tool I used. Now with it selected, what's going on is it keeps the intro and outro of the music and it just, and it just adds edits to make things work but you can go in and customize it further. Sure, you can change its duration, but I'm gonna go here under Customize and I'm gonna say, I'd like it to have more segments. I've taken it all the way as far as it goes. You can see it's got all those little cuts in there. And I can say for variations, be more melodic or more harmonic. I'll say more harmonic. And again, it's made more of these. And this time I'm gonna play it near one of those edits and see if you can hear any of them. I can't. And that's the beautiful thing about Adobe Remix. I'll often find myself stacking different selections for a client underneath here, getting them all to quickly fit to give them alternatives. I often find myself cutting up the piece of music, knowing Remix will keep the beginning and end, and maybe just changing the length, remixing the middle piece of it. It's totally freeing. And that's Adobe Remix. It's a piece of Adobe magic that can sit back and adapt almost any type of music. And I've thrown everything at it, you know, from rap, through rock, through classical. I've just blown away by it for the last six or seven years. And it allows me to quickly get music in place to the length I want, to the length I need for my clients. I'm Jeff Greenberg. Hope you found this useful. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. And thanks again for watching.